Hey now, Jet here from Batman on Film. This morning, Rick Shu and I recorded uh, a new vlog where we discussed Robert Pattinson possibly being the new Batman, as well as the fact that it looked like Pattinson and Nicholas Holt were the top two candidates, and both had screen tested here recently, uh, apparently in costume, for Batman. And we discussed that, and so forth and so on, and then all of a sudden, news breaks this morning that Robert Pattinson had been chosen by Warner Brothers and director Matt Reeves to be the new Batman on film in Matt Reeves' The Batman, which comes out in June of 2021. So, as you watch, please keep that in mind that we had not, uh, we did not know that the news had broke yet, and but we were pretty spot on accurate in our prediction of what will happen. So, enjoy the vlog. Hi, this is Michael Uslin. You're watching Batman on film. I have given a name to my pain. The Batman. Always waiting for some Batman to save you. It's simple. We uh, kill the Bat of Gotham. <laughs> you don't really think you'll win, do you? I'm Batman. Hey now, welcome to episode number 48 of the Batman on Film vlog. I am the founder of Batman on Film, Bill Jett Ramey. And with me today is Rick Shu. Hello, Rick. We're going to get right to it here. How are What's you up? anyway? How good? So we're here today, good. We're here today to talk about the, the Mueller report. So strap in for a four hour conversation, gang. I'm kidding. Is this, a, is this, is this a less shoe politics blog <laughs> no, I wasn't aware of? No, no. no. So. <clears throat> actually here's what we, we, we talked earlier in the week about doing a vlog and I was like well, we're gonna talk about it. there's really not nothing going on so I said well, okay I'll just put out a call for questions and we'll do a mailbag pod, uh, vlog and lo and behold a little bit of news drops yesterday that's gonna take up most of the show we're gonna try to answer a couple questions and uh, I know there's a lot of them so I may just turn that into a BOF mailbag over the weekend but um, Anyway, Rick, uh, for the last couple of weeks, uh, we've all uh, thought that Robert Pattinson was going to be the new Batman on film, and I still believe from everything I've heard from my sources that he is their number one choice, and uh, when I say they, it's really, this is going to be a Matt Reeves decision, but there were about, <clears throat> from what I can gather, about five or six candidates, serious candidates that were brought in and were, were tested and interviewed and all this to a, to a certain degree. And uh, yesterday, now this was not a trade report. It was not a report in any of the trades. It was from Umberto Gonzalez, El Mayambe, from back in the Latino Review days, but he is a reporter for The Wrap, which is one of the trades. This was not, as far as I know, as of this vlog, this is not anything that was reported, actually reported in the rap by him, but he tweeted out that both Robert Pattinson and Nicholas Holt were going to, uh, Holt, I'm sorry, Nicholas Holt was, were, was going, they were going to be testing in the bat suit uh -huh. for the powers that be, including Matt Reeves at Warner Brothers. And there's talked about getting wardrobe involved and so forth. Now we know that when Christian Bell and the others tested for Batman Begins, um, they wore some of the previous bat suits. So I'm sure they'll they'll dig whatever suits out that fit uh, those two individuals and uh, and have them testing it. It will not be the actual suit that, that whoever will play Batman will, will wear in uh, in the Batman. So 
Well, just like Brandon Routh and Henry Cavill both had yes. Chris Reeves' uh, suit. Yes. Uh, at some at, at some point. That would be. Cavill did for sure. They also wore one of the suits that was put together for the the when J.J. Abrams was still involved with the Superman project, that Superman Flyby mm-hmm. or what it was called Flyby was the code name. There's there's pictures of Cavill in that suit for screen testing. Anyway, mm-hmm. so I don't know if I want to call this a confirmed report. It's more scuttlebutt, Rick. Don't you wouldn't you would you categorize it as that as as as, as opposed to just a trade report coming from just a tweet by Umberto? Yeah, I mean, nothing against them, but I, I assume since it didn't come officially via the wrap or any other trades, that, that that's the best way to categorize it. Yes. So, right. um, apparently, so let's, let's just take this at face value and say that this is the final two. Now, I've heard some rumblings that there there's, some, there's a faction at Warner Brothers who like a certain actor that who's who's been rumored quite a bit uh, over the last several months, um, but I cannot confirm at all whether or not this individual has ever met with Warner Brothers or <clears throat> or, or tested in any in any way for the role of Batman. So um, I'm of the mind from everything I know and what I've heard and been told by various people is that it's. Pat's, Pattison is the number one dude, mm-hmm. and so we 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 talked about Pattinson. We're we're on board. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, I'm like really on board with him now. You know. Yeah, me after, too. After watching, um, he's kind of my new Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Especially since I've visited some of his films, his indie films, and seen what he's capable of. And it goes back to something that you and I have both said a million times: every, is let's get an actor, a yes. real actor. Every time you bring him up. It reminds me. Did you ever see the clip of him and Conan talking about how how you really pronounce his name? Everybody f's up pronouncing his name. No, um, I didn't. But I would. I love Conan, so I'd... it's it's like Helen Hall is how it really is pronounced. It's like Swedish. So well, you know, my wife's maiden name is Lil Jigvis, and I can't tell you how often that thing was butchered when her and I were dating and engaged. It's also Swedish, by the way. Yes. So Helen yeah. Hall, Jake Helen Hall. Got to find that clip. Search that. Anyway, back to this. So now <clears throat> we, we talked about Pattinson. <clears throat> We're on board. Hell of an actor. <clears throat> and uh, Holt is, i I'll be honest, I have not seen a lot of his, uh, uh, of his work. I have seen him in the X-Men films where he plays Beast. So, mm-hmm. uh, but he is a well- Regarded actor, he he was just in the starring role in Tolkien. If you see, I I did not see that movie, so I can't speak for it. Um, he's also British, like Robert Pattinson. So it looks like Rick. Either way we go here, if this is the final two, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the days of of Christian Bale and get a, a British actor playing an American. Go with the best I- iconic character. So that, yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, you Henry know. was a great Superman. There was something about. Our, our yes, British Henry, brothers and sisters that can Henry Cavill. <laughs> play these American yeah. icons better than we can. Mm. That's okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, any thoughts on Mr. Holt? Not really. I don't. I'm not familiar with his work. I would certainly familiarize myself with it if he was cast. Um, as far as preparing for this vlog, the news dropped yesterday. I, I'm of the mind that I don't know this firsthand, obviously, but. This may be news that's sort of already passed, and he was in the running, and it's that they're leaning towards. Well, he, um, he was Mr. on the, he, he was on the list. In fact, mm-hmm. back in right, fact, he was he was you know, he was he, being considered. People always uh, ask me, uh, you know, and I try to avoid fan casting, but who, who would you put in this role? Who would you, who would you like in that role? So finally, like in February, I wrote a uh, it was a it was tongue in cheek, very tongue in cheek article. About here's here's my list of who would I like to see cast as Batman, and I had Army Hammer on there. I had Nicholas Holt on there. I'd brought Nicholas Holt up a while back. Um, I had Robert Pattinson on there because there was some trying to get some rumor around him at that time, uh, and then I proceeded to list um, Abraham Lincoln and. Mm-hmm. 
Wally Coyote, who played Batman in a Looney Tunes short back in the day, and then some other Bob Odenkirk. <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> anyway. But uh, amusing yourself. Yes, they're, as those, usual. Those, those, <laughs> those two were, were, were on there, and uh, I, I, I may be with you that maybe this is something that's already happened. Um, here's what I'm in the mind. And, of course, Warner Brothers doesn't say much publicly, but would 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 they have let this this Pattinson thing go on as long as it has if there hadn't been some sort of truth to it? I mean, there was like, they, and they made no comment. There was nothing like, all they said was, well, we, we do not have a contract yet. Right. That, that's it. That's all that was right. said about it. Um, mm -hmm. After uh, Justin Kroll, the Variety reported that it was a basically a done, it was a done deal. There they were that a contract was was imminent. So, and right. speaking of which, they've changed the wording of that Variety article. I don't know if you've noticed that. To uh, basically, it went from uh, Robert Pattinson to play Batman in Matt Reeves the Batman to uh, Warner Brothers eyeing Robert Pattinson to play Batman in the Batman. Well, and maybe that came from the studio yeah. maybe some yeah they reached out to to kroll and they made that that uh, that adjustment and yes. perhaps that ties into the story that umberto tweeted yesterday yeah. so who knows yeah i'm i'm of the mind that either one of these I, i'm fine with either one of these actors if, it, if, it, right. if, it, if this is the final two um i won't i, I would if warner brothers if you're listening um if you can find those thirty thousand emails Anyway, um, 33,000. Well, I'm on, go 30, ahead. 000, yeah. um, I'm a, I, I think Warner Brothers, if Patson wants his gig, give it to him. I think he, he's already went from the backlash to now people are, I see people are upset that now that Nicholas Holt may get the gig and not. Because they've already become right. somewhat. Oh, involved. are you using the swinging moods that change yes. from calmness oh, to yes. deranged yes. and fan online fandom? And I think, yes, I, Bill. And I, and I think some of the, I mean, I'll even say some of the, uh, how do I want to put this? The more um, reasonable uh, fans who right. were disappointed in Robert Pattinson actually went and did their homework and watched some of his films and. Oh kind of came around and said, oh, man, this guy can flat act. Now, I can see it, you know, whether it be Cos right. Cosmopolis, I think is the name of it, or um, the, what's the one I watched? Good Time? Yeah. Good Times. Yeah. Right. So I think I'm fine with either, and uh, we'll see. Now, Holt is 29, Pattison is 33. So there's not a big age difference. And I think they're going – this Batman is – in his late twenties, she's thirty-ish. Let's whether, whether, whether keep it. Let's keep in mind something too. Pattinson's about to break out with some great reviews. It appears for the Lighthouse with yes. William Dafoe. Yes. And then he's going to transition and roll right into filming um, with with Chris Nolan. He's doing Nolan's film. Yes. I just feel like there's a momentum also with this kid that yeah. it just sort of makes sense. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm putting my money on the fact that that that's going to be our new Batman. I'm with you on that, and I, I think for all those reasons, um, he's on the verge of being a, a big time, big time player actor. I mean, going to like Bale level. Uh, just right. That, it reminds me of Bale so much with Pattinson. Just not not because of the fact they're British, of course. Isn't I think isn't um, Christian Bale actually Welsh? But whatever. Uh, I, know, mm -hmm. I know people in the UK are. Going, I was actually good. Yeah, I was you know? actually about to say that. So you know, there is a big difference. I get it. Okay. We don't want Tom McQuellen jumping in yeah. on our mentions and lecturing us yes. about. Yes, right. I understand that, but like know. call it's like calling El Salvadorians Mexicans but and yes. etc. Yes. Get, let's get our, let's know yes. our, yeah, geography here. And well, and it's also, I mean, there's different areas of, of the United States that people identify with regionally. So it's, you know, right. But what was still one country, I'm oh, getting off on the geography and history thing. So whatever. Um, but it reminds me of that because Bell was, Bell was not a superstar when he got that role at all. Um, no. he was known, you know, he, 
he was known for um uh, well he was he, he was in American Beauty, right? Not yeah. American Beauty, American Psycho. American Psycho. Uh, American Beauty, a very different film. Yes. Like, kind of equally as disturbing, yes. honestly. But anyway, American uh, Psycho, which I, I've read that book, by the way. And, and, it was, and he yeah. was so perfectly cast in that film. It was such a, uh, it was, that was more of a cult type following with sure. that film. And right. of course, he had done Empire Under the Sun as a kid. He'd done Newsies. Um, you know, he had. Uh, uh, Reign of Fire, I remember trying to get a franchise with that, about the dragons, and it just hadn't really just broke out, but Batman pushed him over, over to where he is today. There's no doubt about he that. He is one of the finest working yes. actors in Hollywood, yes, period. absolutely. He's top five. Period. Not top five. Easy. Um, and if, and you, if you don't believe me, go watch his films. Go watch Vice and watch him transform into Dick Cheney. That's just, I think, his most recent film, unless I'm yes. forgetting one. Well, he's got one coming I mean, out with Matt Damon. I mean, transformational. Yeah. And I'm not saying Pattinson might not necessarily have those chops, because that's a very unique ability to be able to lose yourself in a role like that. That's what, that's, that's method acting. Well, that's why you should see but Good I, Time, because he becomes no, no, no. becomes no, and, a and the, queens, and, and it's just... And, and the film I saw set in the outback of Australia with... Yeah. Uh, you know, with uh, Guy Pearce, that, his performance in that film rather riveting and i talked about it on our last vlog and then to hear him talk you're going wow this kid can ob obviously do accents and then good times i haven't seen the film but i've watched enough clips on youtube to to understand how and, and you know when you can juxtapose um, his performance in two different films and say i don't even recognize this guy that's that's impressive, yes, and and whether or not he yeah. reaches the level of Bell in that regard, I don't know. It doesn't he doesn't necessarily have to. He's just he's got that gift, and um, it's something that 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 Val Kilmer had. It's something that Keaton had. It's something that Bell had. There's nothing against George Clooney, who I think would have made a great Batman in the right film, and I think Affleck did a fine job in B versus S, despite not really caring for the movie all that much. But those two actors. Clooney and, and, and Affleck are not up to the same level as actors as uh, well. I don't know. Maybe Clooney kind of is now, man. You know, I think about that. I think about some of the work he's done since old, old brother. Oh, were I, I, I think Clooney's. A I, I almost have to like retract that. That's for sure. Oh yeah. I, old yeah, brother. Were yeah. Out, was, he was fantastic. Yeah, right. And, and sometimes I forget because, you know, you kind of put yourself in the mindset of where he was when he made that movie, which was ER. ER. Right. Right. Yeah, he had done, but, he had done the, uh, from Dusk Till Dawn, vampire movie with Tarantino, which I think Tarantino and, and was Robert actually Gavre. in, but Tarantino Robert didn't Rodriguez direct it. He was producer. He, yeah, anyway. Um, Regard, my point is this, is, is that we, we've had some great actors and some very good actors in the, in the name of Affleck play Batman, and I would like just to go back to see that actor that just immerses themselves in a role that yeah. we get lost in the performance. I, I think and we don't recognize them from movie to movie. Of the, of the names I've heard... I think Patson is is the best actor of the bunch, the best actor, this pure actor. And if someone would say, you know, well, you, you're right, Rick and Bill, he's on the, you know, he's 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 getting all these rave reviews for the Lighthouse right now. He's fixing the <clears throat> work for Chris Nolan, and uh, Nolan's next film, Tenet, is the title of that film. And why would he take Batman? Because Here's why it puts you. It'll put you over the top. This is not. Mm -hmm. This is not the days of the '50s with George Reeves, or even to a certain extent Chris, uh, Christopher Reeve, back in the, in the late '70s when they, when he played Superman, where you were typecast. Typecasting, yeah. It just. It, I mean, it's a different world now. Look at Bell. I mean, that's enough right there. It's a different. Not no, not only are you not typecast anymore, you can be Ryan Reynolds and play like. You know, you can go from Green Lantern to Deadpool. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can even look at Tom Hardy and Venom and Bane. You know, you can you can actually cross over and play in the uh, comic book universe, whether it's Marvel, DC, whatever, and play multiple characters. So not only are you not even typecast anymore, you're not even typecast in the genre of films that yeah. you're doing. You can go on. So look at Michael Keaton. He's, he's a Spider-Man villain now. Yes. But, you know, something interesting I want to point out just real quick about Clooney. I don't mean to get off on this. But the difference in some of those other actors, I think this is why I, I kind of screwed that up, but I'm, I'm reflecting on it. You had Keaton, who showed a lot of versatility with, uh, at the time with Mr. Mom, Beetlejuice, and he did do Clean and Sober. And a lot of people forget that, especially at the time there was a big uproar about his casting. You know, it was Mr. Mom's going to play Batman. It's like, did you see Clean and Sober? I mean, this dude is a powerhouse. 
And um, with Christian Bell, you saw American Psycho, you, you could see him playing someone unhinged. And so obviously that um, would lend well to playing Batman. But with Clooney, all the stuff that he did that really proved himself was it's actually after. after yeah. was after, and, and his Batman was a backlash. So his was a very different route. For Bell, the Batman <clears throat> movies solidified his career and, and, and pushed it forward. With Clooney, he, he survived a bad Batman film and still somehow – Came out on the other side is one of you know a, a fantastic well, he, American actor. I've said this it's before. An interesting route. He he said, and you know he, it, recently he got there was some news that he had, he had told Ben Affleck not not to do it, um, not to play Batman. That is because he had a bad experience with it. But he's also said he wouldn't have gotten the jobs he had gotten after if he had not done Batman. And that's an interesting uh, way to look at it because of the film's backlash. Go back to Star Wars, The Phantom Menace at the time was a major film with backlash. And the the prequels, Natalie Portman is kind of famously saying that it kind of hurt her career. Now she was able to obviously recover from it. Yeah. And then obviously those films are, re, those films in retrospect are much better than people gave them credit for at the time. But anyway, it's just a funny business and it's not consistent with how it used to be. And then you've got a guy like Chris Reeve who was Juilliard, who I believe so. He yes. was an, I know he was – yeah, he was Juilliard. And uh, he was a fan, fantastic Superman. But then he couldn't, he couldn't get a gig after those films. Um, it's just a whole different world now. Adam West the same way. He couldn't he – was, he was Batman George Reeves, um, famously portrayed by Ben Affleck in um, – Hollywood Land. Was it in Hollywood Land. He did a great job in that, by the way. Yeah. He did. That's yeah. some of his best work. That in uh, – and uh, the Shakespeare in Love, I think, were two of his best performances as an actor, Ben Affleck. You know, and we talk about Batman propelling people nowadays. It certainly it didn't help Ben Affleck. Let's be honest. Um, I think well, his personal life. I think, uh, well, I, I, I think Ben was in a. I think he was in a no. It was in a either win. How do I want to say this? It was almost like he was in a no win situation. He was at such a high mark professionally, uh, especially as a director. T to take that gig, he had it's like nothing to gain and everything to lose. Does that make does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. He he didn't need it, and um, I don't I don't I don't know him. I don't I doubt he because regrets he it. He may down, he may he may regret how things played out. But look, he he had turned down Nolan. Asked him about directing Man of Steel. Directing didn't do it. Right. No, uh, Warner Brothers wanted him to direct Justice League. That well, that was when they were still the Will Bill script they were going to go with, completely unrelated to um, the one we got. He turned that down, and then he finally does. He finally says yes, and then BBS and Justice League happen. So it was just, and it was a, and combine that with all the personal stuff going on. It was just a, it was just, it was almost like that everything was stacked against him. Um, yeah, it would have been a lot different. If, BB, if BBS had been a different film, Rick, and had been accepted by the audience and uh, was beloved, it, it would have been – we wouldn't be here, I, I'm, sh I'm sure. Uh, ben Affleck no. would probably be directing a solo Batman film right now. Which would have been great. I, I'd like to see Ben Affleck get back to – and I know he's going to, to – get back to the director's chair yeah. and go, go win an Academy Award. He's a fantastic director. Yes. He is. Um, okay, cool. So what, what's next? What's, so, what's next? I mean, uh, with Holt, I would just say – uh, he looks younger than Pattison. I know I've seen people online already say he's very boyish looking and he's thin and this and that. And I'm about it's a thing called a gym and gym trainers and, and, and dietitians and yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. You you realize, folks, when you say that when when these guys get that job, they it, it becomes their it, it becomes their job before the job to to like live at a, live at the gym. That that's what they do all day. With a trainer, right? And there's a, there's right. a reason why these guys look at Ben Affleck and flipping BBS. I mean, he got he got jacked up for that role. I saw him in person when he was filming that. Remember? So, yes. In Vegas. Yes. So and he was stacked. <laughs> Dude was. I'm six three. The guy looked like he was a towering over me. All right. Anyway. So well, all right. I, bottom line, I think that um, I think it's Pattison. I think that we'll get an announcement here shortly. Uh, we know that you know, one, uh, one other thing, Rick, also came out, uh, a UK, um, uh, it's kind of a trade, it, it lists productions, 
in the UK and you can if you pay to subscribe you can contact whomever it's it's for professionals right it's for actors mm, right and, and people in the business so they can get jobs whether it be in front or, or behind the camera and they are now listing that the Batman will start filming uh, they listed as it will start filming in the, in autumn, which autumn is okay. fall. Here. Yep, I saw that. Okay. Oh, I saw and you then, tweet that. And another thing that uh, that Umberto said, and it's been reported before, uh, in, in all the trades, I believe, is that uh, they were expected to push actual filming back to early 2020, which we talked about on a vlog. Does doesn't surprise me at all. I've always thought it would do that, um, and so I don't think that the that UK uh, production website is is wrong i think what's happening is it's not like you show up january 15th of 2020 and just start filming you know you've got to build sets you've got to hire a crew there's lots to do before you actually start filming the thing so that's probably what is going to start or commence this fall is pre-production yeah so i mean uh if they're filming over there i'm 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 I'll, I'll guess it's going to be at the Warner Brothers Studios outside of London. Uh, all, all I know is that next year is going to be a lot of fun, man, because we're going to be covering this film extensively. And and you think about it, this year is already halfway over. Yes, it's May thirty. It's May thirty first. Yes, Bill, you know what? May, you you also know what May thirty first is? I believe it's your birthday. It is Clint Clint Eastwood's birthday, and mine, and yours, Clint Eastwood. Well, I am thirty one years old today. You're. Clint Eastwood is only a couple years older than you, right? Probably. Another great director, by the way. All right. You want to answer a couple questions? Yeah, I've got about, we got about five or ten minutes. Let's do it. All right, I'll, it. I'll ask, will there be any Batman, any villains appearing in Reeves' Batman movie that we have yet to, that has yet to appear in a live action Batman movie? Uh, let's see. I don't actually think so on the – let me ask you a question, Bill. Do you think that Reeves himself, is he – is this film the chapter one of a three-part story for him, do you think? Because it'll kind I of – it'll, it'll dictate I, I, how I answer I, this I, question. I think it's as much of a chapter one of a three-part series as Batman Begins was. It's right. Like, it's, 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 see what happens and it's, little, it's, it's – yeah. We're not going to hold anything back. I think I mean that's I, you know make the, based make the on movie what I, you want to make based on what I've read and what we've discussed and, and and some people that you've talked to or what have you that we it, it's that we've talked about publicly it appears that there's going to be obviously a rose gallery and Matt Reeves he's, I believe has said, said so that. yes he says so so I, I think it's possible that we will have cameos of a variety of different villains uh, it looks like we're very likely going to have uh, the penguin and and Catwoman and perhaps I, I Riddler have not, I have not heard anything about. But as far as – well, right, and these are just yeah. column rumors. But uh, there yeah. hasn't been any discussions about any miscellaneous, so to speak, uh, villains. But I wouldn't be surprised no, if I one think, pops up. I think we so, will. I think we will. And, 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 if, and if this is definitely a chapter one of a three-part, if it's a trilogy, then whether it's in the first film or not, I think we will most certainly get um, some villains that we haven't seen. I – think there will be villains we haven't seen in live action before yes i do yeah for sure I uh, but i want to see i want to see you know for someone that has disdain for batman returns i really want to see um a live action cinematic penguin work and i, I, and I know look, I, I know did, that it can. i did a radio show last night and the guy asked me you know about the penguin who would i like to see play the penguin I, and i went andy circus Dude, Andy Serkis. that picture i don't i don't know who the artist is and i yeah. put it on our facebook page uh, that Andy Circus uh, photo of that that is really cool, man. Why don't you put it on the screen here for I everybody mean, to look at? He, and we, I will. We don't we don't know uh, who the artist. I of hate, yeah, I hate putting it on there when I can't give anybody credit. But yeah, um, he he's worked with Reeves. He was Caesar, of course, in the Planet of the Apes movies at Matt Reeves. Well, he did. He was in all of them. Um, and Snoke, uh, he's well, a very uh, good actor. Uh, episodes I mean, eight. I'm not saying I'm not saying the penguin's going to be a motion capture or motion uh, you know, uh, performance. I'm saying let him act a role. He would be great. I I know you haven't played the games, but my maybe my favorite interpretation of the penguin is how he's uh, depicted in the Arkham games, mm -hmm. and it's awesome. And yeah, I, I can see that vibe with this with this type of movie. All right, but, and, and by the way, when he's performing, whether it's Snoke in Star Wars or Steve.
Caesar. Uh, the man is not holding anything back because he knows that he's going to be uh, CGI. He's giving a performance. Yeah, he's giving a powerhouse performance. Period. And then they're adding that to. Him. So my point to all that that is, we don't. Yeah, you know, we don't need the motion capture. The guy's already doing these performances. We're just not quite seeing him to the extent because he's an ape or he's a Sith Lord or whatever. I think that he would be a remarkable penguin. He's my number one choice by far. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, a couple more. Okay. Uh, who will play Gordon? Will J.K. Simmons return? He did a good job in Justice no. League. No. No. And look, I'm, and listen, he's a great actor, but, I mean. How can you say he did yeah, a great, I'm sorry, with all due respect. Just, just, just to throw away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, maybe, maybe, look, no, yeah. Maybe they, they, if they think that, I don't want to, that's their opinion. I'm just saying that. There wasn't enough there anyway for me to say, yeah, bring him back. Yeah, he looked like Gordon, and he's a great actor. I mean, yes. I've seen that guy in uh, I mean, everything from Spider-Man to indie films. I liked him in uh, – is it Juno? The young girl gets pregnant. He that film. I've seen him on a lot of great stuff. Hell, yes. I even like his stupid insurance commercials. He's, he's <laughs> you know, he's a captivating guy. You know? yeah. he's, it was he's great. great. But look, look, I, yeah. I, I, want a, I want a total reboot of well, Batman. Well, and so, same, same goes uh, for – all the other, it goes for Alfred and any other character. I mean, we're going to get different actors. Right, recast it, right. Yes. I don't even know if we call it recasting. It's just they're going to cast in new versions of these characters. Um, right. Um, do, 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 do. Let's do one more. All right. Well, fans, we kind of talked about this, but whatever. Will fans embrace the fact that Pattison has long shed his sparkly vampire youth acting days, or will there be, or will there be pushback all the way up to the release of the film? As based on past precedent, every Batman but Bell, basically. You know, to predict fandom is something I really, really want to try oh, to get my head wrapped around. Said, but I'll, but I'll say yeah. this: if there's people bitching about that casting, I promise you, the majority of them will go see the film. They'll love the film, and you'll never hear from them again. And if anything happens and he's pushed out or Pattison leaves, they're gonna be the first people to freak out about his exit. So yes. that I can guarantee. Well, I, like I said, I've already seen you, I've you've already, been Affleck Batman fan. I've already seen people coming around to Pattison in just in the last couple of weeks who freaked out. And now, because Twilight was in their head, yes. and they actually went back and like you said did their homework. Did their homework. Now there's people right. still. Yes, there are people still freaking out about Pattison. They will fr continue to freak out until, and I, like I said, this is how it will go. They freak out. Of course, they create petitions and all this other nonsense. And then I, then a, a publicity still will come out and they'll go, and they'll say, oh, that's not that bad, but he still kind of sucks. And then a trailer will drop and they'll say, oh, that's kind of cool, but I don't know. And then they'll see the film and it'll be, after the film, he's the greatest Batman in the history of Batman on film of all time. That's no. That's there's no there's no pattern of that in no, the history. There's of that. not. A, there's no precedent of that. No fans no. are sane, Bill, they and are. normal. Yes. They are. Okay. Yes. I, I'll, I'm with you then. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today, Rick. Anything to plug, real quick? Follow me on Twitter at shoe Rick, and just keep up with our obviously our vlogs. Uh, we have a Patreon account. If you guys want to help us out with the show, please. Feel free to do that. We would appreciate it. And uh, shout out to Ryan Haas, who's doing a great job with the podcast, and all the people that are contributing to Batman on Film. I don't want to list anybody because I don't want to forget. You know you are. The Peets, the Erics, the Garretts, the Aprils, etc. cetera. Um, there is a young lady, I will say this, that has reached out to me who is an actress, and we have mutual friends. And uh, she is uh, very interested in doing something with Batman on Film. And her and I talked recently and she's extremely charming and very charismatic and knowledgeable about things that are DC related, Marvel, anything that could you know also be part of our satellite show Star Wars. And uh, she got a mic and she's ready to do a, a vlog or a podcast or something. So I'm going to bring her on, probably talk about something Star Wars soon. So anyway, my point to bringing her up is that I it's just exciting that people are reaching out and want to be a part of this. Um, we can't obviously bring everybody on board to do something, but. She's great, and so I'll announce more about that later. But I'm going to bring her on to see how she does. So yeah, it's like we just you said just a second ago. It's about we're heading into the into the to me the most fun time of these films is the lead up to it. Right. I mean, seeing the seeing the film is awesome. I'm not diminishing that, but it's so it, it, it's <clears throat> it lasts longer. You know what I mean? Once you see the film, you're like, that's it. 
You know, well, in I mean, the moment not, you not see that the, the film, film sucks, you just it's you know it's yeah. It, the credits roll, and the first thing you want to start talking about is the sequel. Yes. So let's just enjoy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Enjoy the ride. All right, uh, Batman on film, authoritative, definitive. Dead gum original. All right, thanks for watching.